hey guys thank you so much for watching today i'm going to show you my haul from groovy plants ranch from lowe's and from rural king so let's go ahead and get started so this is my groovy plants ranch haul i got a pineapple sage garlic chives and a cardoon plant i what i meant to get cardoon seeds this year and it got away from me so i am so happy to find this at groovy plants i just i snatched one up so i've got this guy here um they require a full sunspot so i am gonna have to search um to see where i can stick this guy but just the leaf structure the color it's gonna be such an eye-catching plant especially once it gets huge so i'm so excited to have that and then the garlic chives i suck at growing chives i suck at starting onions from seed i don't know why so i'm happy to find this where i don't have to start it um these guys are hardy down to my zone so they go down to zone four through zone eight so i'm gonna put these in their own pot to stay in you know through this year i won't be planting them in ground i want to keep track of them and then the pineapple sage this one is not hardy i don't believe but i have grown pineapple sage before and it got so big it's an annual so it looks like you have to protect it from frost so i know that it will not grow in my zone however if i wanted to i could take cuttings to overwinter or if I potted this plant, I could keep it going inside if I want it, but it smells so good. It smells so, so, so good. Okay, so that is my Groovy Plants Ranch haul. Now let's go to the Rural King haul. So here's my Rural King haul. These are my sweet potato vines and I buy these every single year and I plant them in the same spot. Now, Rural King actually had these for much cheaper than the other places that I could find locally. Um, what I've been seeing is they've been about $3.99 or more for pots this size. And Rural King actually had these for $1.99. Rural King is good for having uh, plants much cheaper than other places so I love to go and shop there every spring and summer and get some of their plants these guys look so good and I'm gonna show you where they're going to go so this is where I put my sweet potato vine I put them all down here and over there so that they can trail over this uh, side here um, I got five and five is plenty because they get super big so i'll do like one here like one two three four five and that's perfect for this space those will take over and get so big all right now it's time for the next haul hi what do you want I know that. Stormy, cashew. So here's my Lowe's haul. And this is actually a combination of two hauls um, that I, I'm squeezing together because I got them within the same, like within a week of each other. So this first plant is a Persian Shield. And it is super gorgeous. I love the purple on this. These plants are super easy to grow. Um, if I wanted, I could split it, split this plant in half and have two. And then I got two Supertunia Vista bubble gums on clearance. These were four bucks each. And I think the Persian Shield was like four or, yeah, I think it was four as well. And then I got this beautiful Senecio angel wing gorgeous plant this plant can do well as a house plant that's what i'm hearing um when i looked it up that's what people are saying how to take care of it as a house plant so that's exactly what i am going to do i am probably going to leave it in this pot unless well it looks like it needs a repot hang on let me show you 
try not to dump it out so there are some roots coming out of the bottom so i will pot it up into um, a pot two sizes bigger and then keep it outside for summer bring it in in the winter time and keep it as a house plant it's beautiful so soft i love this so much i actually had this last year and i ordered it from spring hill nursery but the plant did not survive it did not do well and yeah so i've been kind of missing missing it ever since and then right here i have this caladium that is super cute candyland caladium this plant was about two bucks it looks like they marked it down for that one leaf which you know that's not a huge thing i'm so excited it's so cute look at this baby okay and then last but not least i got this diamond head elephant ear this was on actually i had to ask for them to mark this plant down because it had some foliage that was dying off and it's already putting out another leaf here and look at that just gorgeous Ooh, pretty and then this leaf is much darker it's much older beautiful i love the black foliage elephant ears they're stunning look how pretty that is so that is my lowe's haul and since we are talking about elephant ears and caladiums let me show you how mine are doing so i have a caladium here and i'll just say my caladiums this year have taken extremely long to wake up they are they are still some of them still are not to this point and then i have some that are farther than this point um it's just a weird year for them for me i don't know what is going on i didn't do anything different and they're just slow so here's a pot of elephant ear this this is just one bulb so one bulb in this pot produced all of these uh shoots so this will be a nice full little plant here is another elephant ear looking gorgeous we've got a big one in the pot here nice big leaf this one back here is doing really well and then i have here is my mojito let me pull that out here's my mojito elephant ear looking stunning stunning with the black foliage it's got some new leaves coming out still not seeing that mojito coloration on the foliage yet but I am enjoying what it's putting out. So I have this elephant ear here. This one was actually um, what I got from the grocery store and decided to plant. I'm not exactly sure why it's taking so long, but I mean, it's still, it's moving along, but it's just moving along very slowly. Here's another from the grocery store and it's taking its good old time. It's up, but it's just slow. And then I have this one, which is the same from the grocery store. It was a three pack and that one's up, but taking its time. Right here, this is one that I ordered from Wellspring and this is a blue Hawaii elephant ear. So it should have a more bluish black tone to the leaves as they age, but this, this one's kind of, this is an old leaf right here. These two are both newer since I've gotten it. And it's doing okay. It's taking its time. I'm not exactly sure what else I need to do besides start fertilizing, which I have not started fertilizing these yet. But it's, it's in the works. I'm trying to get everything planted first. So this collection of pots here are pretty much uh, caladiums all through here. Uh, the bulbs in these have not rotted we have growth poking out of most of them okay this one is actually rotted look let me take that stick Ooh, i can smell that so this one rotted you can see that Ugh. so i have to pull that out of there and, and dump it and then let's see if this one's got any growth i'll have to check down there but a lot of these other ones do have growth above the soil so i'm gonna leave them be this one these here 
this one has growth so yeah a lot of these a lot of my plans for pots has changed because my caladiums are not up um they were supposed to be a big portion of what goes into my pots this year and since they're not up i've been you know having to either just use something totally different or just leave the space open but it's okay i mean i'll adjust i don't want to rush out and just buy a ton of caladiums when i do have some on the way but yeah it, it's a little annoying but it is what it is it's, you can't control nature okay so over here i have um an alocasia this was in my dining room this is the alocasia that i rescued that was also in my dining room and it lives in this big white pot there and i just think it looks gorgeous it's perked up since coming outside it looks fabulous and then let me find my other i have to look around for my other elephant ears because they're kind of scattered around so this one was in my family room and it's doing well it has two um flowers on it one's kind of dying off but the other one is still going it's another one of those dark foliage alocasias but it looks one i mean it's beautiful i just love the dark veining on the leaves okay let's go find some more here is a uh, coffee cups elephant ear which is doing wonderfully i just repotted this it's got a new leaf that looks so cute um this one is by Proven Winners Coffee Cups, Colocasia Esculenta. So that won't uh, focus for me, but yes, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. I also have one planted back there, which looks super cute. Let me find the others. I also planted one up here. And it looks really cute in this flower bed. This bed is looking like so beautiful. I've got, there's so many things blowing in the wind. I love it. I love seeing the ferns blow. There's a canna up there. So many goodies. Okay, so in this big pot, I planted two elephant ear plants. They look wonderful. They're under planted with caladiums and Dusty Miller. And then I have this elephant ear pot right here. And it needs to get planted or repotted soon. This yellow leaf is because it is has overgrown this pot. And again, I only put one bulb per pot because they grow so quickly. Oh no, I just found my peony broke. And it has a cage on it. And then something took out my Blue fescue, ah, oh, devastation. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You just had bloom too. Oh, maybe I can bring these inside. Yeah, I might have to do that, poor guy. Oof. All right, let's find the other elephant ears. We've got some roses in bloom. Those are so pretty. And here's another one over here, blooming. Oh, you guys, look at my lupins. I started these from seed last year and they it's blooming. I have a few one few of them around the garden and this is the only one that's in bloom right now and it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh okay, where are the elephant ears? Okay, so this is where I planted elephant ears last year. This whole back area was full. I'm gonna plant some back here, but I'm also spreading them around the yard a little bit more just to make the yard feel a little bit more tropical. So I've got one there, it's not planted in yet. And then I've got one there. Oh, and look at my Darmera, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Darmera peltata or peltata. I have a, another one on the opposite side that has a ginormous leaf. Look at this, so big. Ooh. I love it. This and then my Brunnera is super giant this year. Super giant. 
goodness. All right, guys, that is it. Um, let me know what you think of those plants. And I'll see you guys in the next video.